More witnesses took the stand for day two of the preliminary hearing involving Paul and Ruben Flores. KSBY's Megan Healy has a recap of what happened in court today. We heard from a few former Cal Poly students as well as lead detective Clint Cole of the San Luis Obispo County Sheriff's Office on day two of the preliminary hearing. Now it's becoming pretty clear that the defense is trying to argue that witness testimonies have changed over the years due to time and national coverage of this case. Veteran and former Cal Poly student Stephen Fleming took the stand first Tuesday morning. He lived in Muir Hall dorm with Kristen Smart. Fleming says he remembers seeing Paul Flores in their dorm on several occasions, calling him creepy and weird for being there alone at 1 a.m. But during cross-examination, it became clear that memories from 25 years ago are fading. Fleming had trouble remembering if he saw Paul in Kristen's room or a friend's and how often when referring to a 1999 FBI report. This contradicted a July 2021 interview conducted by the San Luis Obispo County Sheriff's Office. Singer accused Fleming of forming an opinion after years of national media coverage. After reviewing the testimonies, Fleming said with 100% certainty he saw Paul in Kristen's room at one point. Two more party goers testified, including Cheryl Anderson Manzer, who was one of the last people to see Kristen alive. Manzer and a friend walked Kristen home to the dorms when she says Paul joined them, put his arm around Kristen's waist and tried to kiss Manzer. When she left for the Sierra Madre dorm, she says, quote, I didn't think anything bad was going to happen to her. And last remember seeing Paul walk Kristen to the red brick dorms while Kristen was intoxicated. Detective Cole took this stand shortly before court was adjourned on Tuesday, talking about a booking photo of Paul Flores from the Arroyo Grande Police Department. Now that photo has yet to be admitted into evidence, but it's likely it's going to start off the discussion for the hearing on Wednesday. In San Luis Obispo, I'm Megan Healy, KSBY News. Defense attorney Bob Sanger raised concerns about COVID-19 and potential cases of the Delta variant at the jail. He recommended that the court consider taking a few days to reconsider the way the hearing proceeds to ensure the safety of everyone. The judge decided to go through with in-person proceedings.